Hey, what's going on, Melissa? This is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. It was a pleasure talking to you today with Josh. Um, so here's this video analysis that I promised you. And what we want to do is basically we want to go over exactly what I can see as a search marketer um, in terms of where your website is, as well as what we need to do to basically outrank your competition and start um, ranking you highly for the various keywords that people search on. That way, you're front and center when people are looking for uh, physical therapy in Colorado Springs. And so that's the kind of angle that I'll be um, tackling. Um, and so uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did was I actually pulled up a, a tool called AREFs. AREFs allow search marketer like myself to look at the metrics of a site. So what I can see right off the bat is there has been some SEO work done on the site. And I'm not sure if that's when kind of the website was built, but it looks like back in January, early January, 2016, there was some SEO work done. And then since then, not too much uh, with that. So it says physical therapy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. That's good. That's like the title. So if I were to like hover through this, when uh, Google's uh, website crawlers crawl through the site, it'll, they'll read it as physical therapy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, we also want to make sure that we tie the brand name to that. Um, so you start getting credit for that as well. I um, mean, I'll show you exactly why you want to do that. But before I do that, what I want to um, show you real quick is where my mouse is hovered right here. Do you see the URDR and the number of backlinks for referring domains? Um, the reason why I want to highlight this is because it's a very important part of SEO. It's a very important part of integral uh, to basically ranking you highly for the keywords you want to rank for. It. The reason being is the number of referring domains and backlinks that you have on the site has a direct correlation with how much authority that's on your website. And authority in turn has a huge uh, relation to how highly you rank for the keywords you want to rank for, as well as how quickly you want to rank for them. And so if you don't have enough authority cooked into your site, no matter how nicely your site is designed, no matter how many good reviews you have, no matter how many good awesome images you have, it's not enough to get you ranked on the top of Google. And that's just um, from our, our experience and understanding the industry. And we need to make sure that we have more authority to cooked into your site. And to do that, um, like I said, it goes down to your refer number of referring domains and backlinks. Now, um, just to educate you real quick on what a referring domain and a backlink is, it's basically any website out there on the internet that um, hyperlinks back to your site. And so um, what I mean by that is, for example, if there's a blog out there that's called the physicaltherapyblog.com, and then they make a new blog post and they say, hey, um, if you're looking for the best physical therapists in Colorado Springs, check out Cornerstone, Cornerstone um, Physical Therapy Colorado Springs, right? And then there'd be a hyperlink that links back to your site. So if a person clicked on that link, it would direct them to your site. So believe it or not, that's actually tracked by Google. Google crawls through all the sites that are out there on the internet. And then they say, hey, this website's linking back to this site. Hey, this other website's linking back to this website. And basically it builds trust to your site. And then that um, builds the authority to your site. And so basically at the end of the day, um, what you need is you want a lot of these websites talking about your site and linking back to your site because it builds that authority. So right now we're at about 16 live sites that are linking back 64 times to your site. We need it to be about closer to about 100 to 200. And that's really going to show Google's algorithm that you deserve to be at the top of Google for the various keywords we want to rank for um, and that you have enough authority and trust into your site. And so that's the kind of work that we do. We like we go out there and outreach to bloggers and things like that and industry people, especially in Colorado Springs, because we are very uh, um, niche and we've built a reputation for ourselves in this area. And so what we do is we, we um, get these link placements that basically build the authority on your site, get other websites to talk about your site, and that naturally brings up your rankings. All right. And so that's actually a good segue for me to, to click on this tab. This organic keywords tab basically shows us what kind of keywords you're currently ranking for, as well as some of the metrics behind those keywords. So right off the bat, what I can see is you'll see cornerstone physical therapy. You are on the number fifth spot for that keyword. We definitely need to make sure that we are on the number one spot for that, because that's a, that's people that are literally just searching up your brand name and searching for your services. And so if you're on the fifth spot, if they're clicking on another site thinking that it's Cornerstone Physical Therapy in Colorado Springs, then you know they might be looking at prices, this and that. And then when they're ready to pull the trigger and call you, they'll notice, hey, this is a different phone number at a different uh, location. What's going on? It's like, oh, well, this is a Cornerstone out of Wisconsin. And that doesn't help because then they might get frustrated and be like, oh, I spent all this time on this website. It's not even their own site. You know, maybe I'll just go with someone else or that kind of thing. And so we want to make sure you're front and center. So, you know, you're doing a great job ranking for Cornerstone Physical Therapy Colorado Springs, Colorado and, and CO. But I guarantee you not that many people are typing in Colorado Springs into it. They're probably just typing in Cornerstone Physical Therapy into Google. And you can see that because there's 1,600 people searching for that phrase as opposed to 80 to 20 people um, searching for these keywords with the Colorado Springs Nova on there. 
So um, that's right off the bat, that's the kind of thing that we would do. And uh, that actually goes back to what I was talking about, how you know how it says physical therapy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We want to make sure we have your brand name, like Cornerstone Physical Therapy. That way Google can tie your brand name along with the service that you provide. Um, that's the kind of thing that we want to clean up. So, you know, so that's on-page SEO. I talked about off-page SEO with like the um, links and then building the authority to your site. Some of the other keywords you're currently ranking for is dry needling Colorado Springs. So believe it or not, you might actually be getting some inquiries for dry needling um, online um, because of the fact that you're actually ranked for this kind of keyword, you're on the sixth spot. And so, yeah. So physical therapy Colorado Springs, obviously a very, very important keyword that we want to rank for. You are currently on the 16th spot for that. So that's actually both good and bad news. Um, the bad news is that um, you are on the middle of the second page for this keyword. And so um, statistically, just to let you know, 95% uh, of people that search for a specific keyword or phrase into Google only stay on the first page. And so if someone's typing in physical therapy, Colorado Springs, they're only going to be hitting the top 10 sites that are on there. And uh, there only 5% of people are actually going to hit second page and then troll through that site. And so we need to make sure that you're definitely on the first page um, if not on the top five positions, because that's when you're going to get a majority of the traffic to your site. And the good news is when you look at this, you know, when someone's typing in physical therapy, Colorado Springs, these are people that are very hyper relevant to the service and the uh, niche that you provide because um, people are behind their phones, they're behind their laptops, computers, searching up physical therapy, Colorado Springs. And so you have to think like if we, I can be front and center in front of these people, how many more patients are going to be coming in per month uh, to my doors and how much more business can I get from doing this? And so, um, you know, I don't want to get into the whole spiel about how, why it's so important to be in the top of Google, but I'm sure you know, like nobody really uses Yellow Book or, you know, uh, you know, TV and radio still kind of work, but most of the people, when they're looking for a specific service and they don't know like a brand name or anything like that, they're literally typing in that service. If you're like a plumbing company, you're, you're typing plumbing near me or plumbing repair Colorado Springs that kind of thing. In this case, physical therapy, people are typing in physical therapy, Colorado Springs. We want to make sure you are front and center for that kind of keyword. All right. So let me go ahead and go down to the next uh, things I can find. So physical therapist in Colorado Springs is another one. So uh, believe it or not, they're, they're, people have different wordings, right? So not everyone's typing in specifically physical therapy, Colorado Springs. So some people are typing in physical therapists in Colorado Springs. Someone's, some people are typing in physical therapist, Colorado Springs physiotherapy, Colorado Springs. So all these different keywords. And that's essentially what we do here, Mr. And Mrs. Leeds, right? So we make sure that we um, do our research on the back end to see exactly what kind of keyword um, that we want to go after. And then from there, um, we actually uh, come up with a plan to basically uh, rank you for the various keywords that we want to rank for and then optimize our, our SEO um, um, plan and things like that around those kinds of things. And so that's the kind of thing that I can see right off the bat, the cornerstone, uh, physical therapy, and I can just kind of go down this list and you can always pause it to see kind of what keywords people are potentially searching for. But um, that's exa exactly how we do. We work backwards and make sure that we get the most optimal keyword set to rank for. Um, in terms of your site, I think the site looks great. Um, what I would personally like to see is more um, uh, testimonials page, like maybe in the front and center, maybe something that kind of slides across that says uh, some quotes from people, maybe like a nice image of say, hey, like, I've been coming to these people for a year now and I feel so much better, whatever, whatever, whatever. Our story, the watch video, this is great. This is this builds um, trust factor, something that a lot of other uh, businesses probably aren't doing. And this is great. You got the click to call phone number, uh, Cornerstone Physical Therapy, and you got the get back to life. You got your face, uh, you got your social metrics right here. So it look more legit. Contact us. The one thing that I would do is, um, do you see how contact us is right here? Um, I would also either um, mesh it together or have another page that basically says like book an appointment now, right? That way, um, I don't know if you have like a calendar system integrated or anything like that, or you can just take you to the same page as corner or contact us and just like a simple name, email, number, and message that you can just enter. Enter your address here for driving. That's pretty cool. That's a cool, neat little feature. Phone number, you want to make sure this is a click to call so that when they're on their phone, it's easier to click. Same with the one on the footer. This one needs to be a click to call number. Um, and yeah, and so um, think. imagine just how much more business that we can bring you if we're to start making you for these kinds of keywords. Um, and then uh, we can just kind of go from there. Now, this video analysis only encompasses uh, search engine optimization, which is ranking you organically for uh, in Google. 
And so um, we also provide a lot of other services besides SEO, right? We also provide things like um, uh, Facebook ad, ad, ads. Uh, we do Google AdWords, Bing AdWords. So anything like paid advertising is part of our umbrella of internet marketing that we do. Um, obviously, it's priced accordingly for it as a different service, but it's definitely something that we can look into, into as well. Um, one kind of uh, phrase I like to mention about SEO and paid advertising is that um, uh, Facebook ads and paid advertising is like business now. And uh, SEO is like business later. The reason being is um, the, when we do our, our, our efforts in, in, in SEO, it's not like immediate uh, because uh, it takes time for our SEO efforts to be picked up by Google and then start giving us credit. If it was so simple that we just do some work on our SEO and automatically gets you on the first page, then everyone knew, would know how to uh, game Google's algorithm. And, and Google makes it so it's a lot more trickier. So people that know SEO can't just dominate all the per, uh, first pages, right? So you really have to be ingrained and these things take time. Now, if you asked me a couple of years ago, um, if it was a lot quicker, I would absolutely say yes, but um, Google's, uh, the way their Google's algorithm works, it just takes longer. That's just something that I've noticed from experience. So that's why it's like more like business later. But the good news is once you've ranked there, you stay up there, right? And so you're, you're not paying for every click. You're not paying for every single advertisement that you send out. And so no matter you get 500 visitors to your site per month or 1500 visitors to, uh, to your month or to your site per month, um, you're still um, just paying the same amount of the organic uh, SEO uh, campaign that we'd be running. Right. And so, yeah, so we also, like I said, we do Facebook ads and we do all that other stuff. So it's just a matter of looking, um, trying to figure out exactly what you're looking to do and then coming up with a game plan and then going, getting started with this. So I um, appreciate it if you watch this video all the way through. I hope at the very least you got some insight out of this. Uh, um, uh, Joel and Melissa, and I, uh, I hope that we can chat further about what we can do and then just kind of go from there, all right? So I'll leave my phone number at the end of that email that I sent out to you as well if you'd like to chat on the phone, or we can chat by email as well. We can meet at your office, you can meet at our office, I can do another video, whatever, uh, whatever suits your boat, all right? So appreciate it, or floats your boat. <laughs> I appreciate it, and have a great day. Thank you.